A good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're calling from your home here at Cabin. What is up, everyone? I hope you are all doing well out there. We've got a short little info session for y'all today. Super excited that y'all are joining us for the info session and possibly making the trip to some of our upcoming winter 2023 co-living experiences. I recognize we're getting close to the holidays and the 2022 Zoom fatigue is probably a little extra real right now. So we're going to go through uh, some slides here. This is a pretty you know, casual presentation, so we'll definitely have some time for some questions along the way and at the end. So we're going to jump into it. If y'all haven't met me yes yet. My name is Jonathan Dean. A lot of people in cabin call me JD. I am one of the contributors to the Neighborhood Development Fellowship and cabin is growing. And part of this growth is having new co-living experience offerings around the world. And we have two really exciting ones coming up at the top of the year. We have Portugal in the Azores and Colombia just outside of Medellin. So I'm going to go through a few slides for each of those experiences, just kind of run down some of the basic details. I imagine folks will have maybe some specific questions about their own individual circumstances and planning. So definitely we'll be sticking around for some questions, but let's get into it here. Um, so the first is at Laughing Orchard on Sao Miguel Island. So as y'all might have seen through some of the promotional materials, Cabin is finally making their way to Portugal, and we are so excited about it. Now, this is not the mainland Portugal. This is actually a Portuguese island, um, which are called the Azores. It's this chain of nine volcanic islands basically in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's about halfway between the East Coast of the United States and the West Coast of Portugal, a little bit closer to uh, Portugal. And these islands are absolutely beautiful. Uh, super excited that we're gonna be touching down there. So Cabin has been experimenting with a couple different types of program offerings. Some are more of the paid co-living experiences and then some are work-live exchanges. This past season, we had our first ever builder in residence out at Neighborhood Zero, who was basically living up at the shipping container home and building some tiny cabins and the bathhouse, which are just about finished. And we're really excited about that. And I think we've seen the power of work-live exchanges. So we're going to continue to experiment with the work-live exchanges here on San Miguel Island. So it is absolutely a stunning island. They get a lot of rain here, uh, so it may be a little bit rainy, but the trade-off for the rain is these beautiful, lush forests and fields. It's just absolutely stunning, and we are going to be testing out those green thumbs through this work-live exchange and tending to an orchard that has been a little bit neglected over the years and needs a dose of cabin love. Now, these volcanic islands are absolutely stunning. There's waterfalls, there's geysers, mineral waters. Um, so it's really just a beautiful place. As y'all know, Cabin's really focused on having amazing access to nature from our different neighborhoods. And we're just so excited by this opportunity here. Um, so there, there are two houses on this property and then a three to four acre orchard that we'll be managing and doing a lot of pruning as we get ready for the, the spring season. So um, the caretaker's name is Alex here and Alex is a great guy. We'll also be having Looks like Polly is in, sounds like a nice train is going by perhaps, uh, don't miss it. Um, so yeah, Cabin is going to be having uh, one house uh, dedicated to Cabin residents, and it's going to be a really great time. The work live exchange. So basically, everything is included: housing, transportation to and from the airport, and food. All you have to do in exchange for your stay is purchase a flight and get to PDL Airport and work twenty hours a week. 
Um, so the dates for this experience are January 29th to February 26th. So that's four weeks, Sunday to Sunday. And the four weeks are split into two two-week sessions. A little background noise from Ollie here. So I did just mute you. It's out of love. Just want to make sure everyone gets the info here. Um, so it's a four-week program. Now, the four weeks are split into two two-week sessions. You can do all four weeks or you can do you know, one of the two week sessions. Um, now the capacity is pretty limited and this one is almost full. I think there's only a couple spots left. Um, so there's four spots per each two week session and then we'll have a cabin host there. Um, now, if you wanna come out and camp, uh, there's basically unlimited camping on the grounds. So you can definitely do that and just bring your own gear. Um, I recognize the application form here isn't clickable, so I'll make sure to share all the application links and our recent blog post if you want to get some more info. Now, my friends, we are in the presence of greatness here as we have an amazing cabin host that has joined the call today, and she will actually be at the Azores. She's going to be one of our on-site hosts, so I just wanted to welcome Chalice here to the call today. Hi, Chalice. Hello, everyone. You're too kind. It's a pleasure. Chalice is calling in from Guatemala today. It looks like it's a nice, nice sunny day where a lot of the world is expecting some cold weather this this Christmas. So I think you might have might have gotten it right. Um, so, yeah, that's a little bit about uh, Laughing Orchard, the property and San Miguel Island. Um, Chalice, did you have anything that you wanted to add um, to some of the details here? No, I just want to iterate that there are only a few spots left. And so if this is something you are interested in the Laughing Orchard aspect or San Miguel, do apply soon and then get in. I'll reach out to you and set up an interview to kind of get you onboarded or oriented. Urgency, cool. not to be rude, but also act with urgency. <laughs> A bit of urgency. Um, now we do have two programs going back to back. So if you're like, hey, I just kind of want to travel a little bit and escape some of the, the winter cold, um, then you can actually do this experience followed directly by Riverside Eco Living in Colombia. Um, so this is actually an eight day, seven night experience. So it's a little bit shorter. And this is going to be co-working, adventuring, co-living together at this beautiful property in Colombia. It's also super lush, so we're really leaning into the the green uh, here in the winter months. Just so people want to, you know, escape. I think what we're finding are there kind of two types of of digital nomads. There are the ones that run towards the cold, and the run the ones that run away from the cold. So we have, um, you know, Montaya Base Camp, which is in a cabin neighborhood up in Northern California, which we're doing some alpine sort of mountain co living there. So if you want to run to the cold, we have that. But if you're like me and want to get a little sunshine on the skin here in the colder months, these two options are going to be great. Um, so this is Riverside Eco Living in Colombia. This is another beautiful property. It is outside of Medellin. It's a couple hour drive. Same thing here, though. The, um, the package includes everything. So it includes food, housing, and transportation. Now, just a little more details on this. This space was specifically built for co-working. This is a brand new building built from bamboo, and it's a completely 100% dedicated co-working space. So this property is really focused on providing amazing experiences for remote workers, which is one of the really exciting things about it. So we're doing this week-long experience down there. Folks can extend if they find that they really like the place and, and want to stay longer than the seven nights, eight days. Um, but there's a bunch of little suites basically um, on the property that have their own bedroom and private bathroom. And then there's two shared, more dormitory style uh, rooms that will be available for a little bit of a, a more affordable rate. Now, this is one of the rooms where you just have beautiful look right outside your desk. So this is going to be more of like a co-working, co-living experience, while the Azores is a work-live exchange. So there's no work live exchange component to this experience this is a paid experience now it's going to be a lot of fun there are going to be like i said everything's going to be included we really wanted both of these experiences to be as streamlined as possible well really all you need to do is show up at the airport 
during a certain time window and we'll take care of the rest. So lodgings included three meals a day with Columbia because we're gonna be doing um, some exploring as well. There are gonna be two excursions included as well. And then, like I mentioned, there are private bedrooms and shared dormitory style bedrooms. Each of the private bedrooms has its own bathroom. Um, so this is gonna be a paid experience. Depending on which bedroom you select, it's gonna range from about $700 to around $1,000 for the seven nights. After that, everything is included. All you need to do is get to Medellin Airport. Now, the excursion options are something that the group is going to co-create together, of which ones seem to be most interested to the, to the group here. So there's so much to do. I am going to be down there in Colombia for this week. So I'm going to be Cabin's host and kind of the point person for this experience. Um, one of my good friends who is a coffee connoisseur is also going to be joining us and he was, when I said Columbia and, you know, he was immediately just like, I'm in because this is the coffee cradle of the world. And there's just, because of the, the climate and the rainfall, it's an amazing place to grow coffee. So there's going to be lots of opportunities to explore the coffee scene down there, check out a farm, do some cupping. Um, but there's also a lot of other hikes. It seems like it's just super beautiful. Um, there's, it's near a local town called Yeriko. Uh, which we'll have access to, to, you know, check out the shops and restaurants there. Um, but this is going to be, you know, a more relaxing and productive experience. You don't have to co-work down there if you don't want. And if you want to treat it as more of a vacation, you can totally do that. But we have all the infrastructure set up for folks to do that. So down here at the bottom of this slide, I just listed a few of the possible excursions. There are two excursions included in the cost of this experience, but if folks want to do more excursions, we can certainly get you set up and um, I'll, I'll book for those as well. The caretaker uh, for this is Jay. His family has been working in the hospitality industry for decades. And uh, this is kind of one of their newer properties. So they just built out this beautiful co-working space to accommodate for the modern uh, remote worker, which is a lot of cabin folks. So the cost for this one ranges from $700 for the seven nights up to around $1,000 for the seven nights, depending on which room you select. So... Those are kind of the, the big details there on both of these experiences. This one runs from February 26th to March 5th. I'm thinking about getting down there a few days earlier. Um, if anyone else wants to join, maybe checking out Medellin for a bit before we catch the ride down to uh, the co-living retreat center. So um, yeah, don't want to take up too much time. I wanted to just quickly kind of run through some of the details. So I'll take a second here and drop the application links. Um, like Chalice said, Portugal one is almost full. We do have a few more spots uh, in the Colombia one still. So if you you know try to go for the Portugal one and it gets booked up, we still have this option available for you as well. But I'm going to um, stop talking and open it up for some questions. Um, if you got all the info you needed and you feel like you have a good sense, I'll drop the application link in there for folks as well. And then I'll also share the latest blog post, which has some additional info on the experiences, pretty similar to the uh, info I just shared. But if you want kind of a, a source of truth there, that'll be a good spot for you. Um, so yeah, if you have to head out, appreciate y'all for coming out and uh, I'll be sticking around for some questions. Yeah, Rich. Hello, hello. How are you doing? All good, all good. Long good time I speak. Yes. Um, we uh, came across the Port Portugal, um, the uh, Azores one, and super interested. In terms of camping, do you know the forecast? Is that going to be like going to a British festival and it's just going to be torrential rain all time? um what's the the camping sitch like when it comes to weather yeah great question so they do get some rain here um i would say if you have a camping gear make sure you come with appropriate rain guards um we don't know the exact forecast it's not going to be that cold so you can totally camp outside 
it's kind of a subtropical weather. So it's not going to be like hot, like 85 degrees or I'm sorry, I don't know the, the Celsius, but it's not going to be super hot, but it's not going to be like anywhere near freezing. It may just be a little bit wet. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. And in terms of like weeks, uh, if, if you're camping, does it matter? Do you just have the two slots or could you come for instance in the middle? Yeah. If you're, I'll Go. chime in here. If you're camping, you have less like rigidity around the room, like assignments, but there are like things like opening dinners and closing dinners that'll just like hold the container of the space yeah. together. And so if you can aim to hit, be there for some of those, we'll go room on each end is okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Mm -hmm. okay. Cool. But nice location. That's what I would say. Uh, for the Columbia excursions and stuff, there wasn't any work exchange for that, right? Correct. So that is okay. going to be a, a paid experience. We may do a work uh, live exchange down there in the future because um, cool. they're doing a lot of permaculture stuff, but uh, this one is going to be a paid experience. Got it. Cool. Thanks. Something also to note there is like the difference between the paid experience and the not paid experience is Laughing Orchard is like new to this. And so Cabot is kind of like getting it, bootstrapping them and helping them kind of like set up. And so there's more like, hey, it might not be dialed to a T. Um, Riverside has been doing this for a while and they much are much more um, fleshed out. And so that's kind of feeds into that. Yeah, great questions. I see my internet connection might be a little bit unstable, so I, I'm not sure if I'm missing anything here, but do we have any other questions from folks? Uh, I have a question for the work exchange. What kind of work do uh, you guys expect it? So it's 20 hours a week. Mm -hmm. And on once a week, we'll have a gardener who is local to the island come and show us kind of the ins and outs and the tricks of the trade for pruning, trimming, and kind of like land stewarding the orchard. And then the rest of the week, it'll be kind of more flexible around personal work schedules, but then we'll also have group kind of like, hey, we're all gonna go out for three hours today and work on it. And so a little bit of like solo, but also connected time working on, and one day a week, there'll be like a guide showing us what to do. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we've co connected with a really awesome local guide there in the Azores who does a lot of like different wellness offerings, um, like sound healing and massages and stuff. So there'll be some uh, there'll be some time as well if you wanted to book some of those offerings. JD, you're back now. You cut out that whole time. We heard nothing you said. Okay. Well, I wasn't saying anything too groundbreaking, thankfully. Um, <laughs> I was saying that we connected with a, uh, a local guide down there in, in the Azores who knows the islands really well and uh, also has a lot of different wellness offerings like sound healing and massages. So um, there would definitely be some opportunities to, to relax a bit. Awesome. I'll go ahead and drop my email here in the chat. Um, if you have any questions about anything, any follow-up questions, or you need anything, feel free to shoot us an email. You can also reach us, you know, on Twitter or in Discord. Um, I'm super excited. I hope that some of y'all will will come down and and hang in Colombia with me. I think it's going to be a really good time. I don't know what Chalice is up to in the Azores, but we're going to be having a lot of good good times, good laughs. 
uh, down in Columbia. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, we'll be sticking around for, for a little bit longer if anyone else has any other questions. And if you have specific questions about like your own flying, uh, flight schedules, you know, whatever, uh, you can always reach out to us directly and we can get those questions answered. But um, I'll just play some music here as, as folks kind of trickle out and feel free to raise your hand on, on Zoom and, and we'll get any other questions answered. Thanks everyone. We'll see you on the trail.